All right, here's a follow-up video to my uh, mini Doge Miner from Gochow. As you can see, this is the uh, small unit that they pushed out. Um, and if you watched my earlier videos, you'll see that uh, the miner just wasn't functioning. After about a day of it actually working, it ended up giving out um, and didn't just a lot of intermittent problems with it. So went ahead and submitted a ticket like everybody else is doing. And uh, Gochow's like, hey, we'll send you a controller. So I just wanted to give everybody an update. I did receive the controller today. Uh, today is the 12th of August and it is uh, in the afternoon, but it was FedExed over to me. Got here pretty quick. Here's here's the controller box. It was already open when I got it. We'll take a look at it and see what's inside of it. So here's the inside of the packaging. Uh, and it actually came in a FedEx bag too, very surprising. But uh, yeah, this looks nothing more than just like a than a NIC, than a network interface card. Uh, when they said they were gonna send me a controller, I was actually expecting like maybe a whole new uh, motherboard or whatnot, but this is what they sent me. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this real quick and uh, show you guys what this looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I actually tested this SD card um, because like I was saying in my previous video, it wouldn't actually go into there. It would, it would like slip in and out. And uh, yeah, this new controller card actually accepts it. So I'll show you guys that right now. All right, so here's the new controller card. You can see it. I got the SD card in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, and there it is. It actually snapped in place. Pretty good. You can see it right there. And there it goes, it comes out. Works perfect. All right, so here we are. We got almost all the screws removed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this last one real fast. goes moving that last screw and here it is this just comes off pretty simple I think I'm gonna have to do it to the other side um, and let's see this is kind of loose in itself though but uh, we'll take a look and see how that comes off all right so there's not much more required at this point this really just kind of slides out um, Oh, I don't think you can see, but way right in there is fan wiring that needs to be, uh, so we need to definitely unscrew the back. So we'll go ahead and do that now and get this ready to go. All right, here we are at the other end of the box. It's got this last screw to take out right here. I'm gonna take this out real fast. And you can see this is the screw that had the uh, tamper tape on it. Basically, if you remove it, you avoid the warranty. So here we are, we're gonna remove this last piece and take a look at uh, what's going on in here. Uh, let's move the camera a little bit so we can see a little bit better what's going on. All right, here we go. So we can clearly see now all the fan assemblies and all the wiring for all of it. Not super overly complicated, but we do need to disconnect uh, those two uh, Molex, mini Molex connectors down there for the fans. And then once we remove those, we should be able to slide this whole board out. So we'll give that a shot next. All right, so those Molex connectors came out really easy. So the whole fan assembly now can just be placed to the side and uh, we should be able now to gently push this out. In fact, let's go to the other side. Let's see how well this comes out now that we can get it. Let's see. I'll go ahead and slide this out and then I'll start over. So here it is, not, not super big. Um, there's the controller card we're gonna change out right there. And then, uh, gosh, not a very big unit, big giant heat sink on the other side, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap this out. This looks like it just plugs right on in and then we'll put it all back together. All right, so that actually wasn't too hard to swap out. A little stiff coming out, but here's the old one right here laying on the table. And there's the new one with the new serial number right there. Uh, let's zoom in right there of the new controller board. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this all back together and see what we can get. All right, so everything's put back together now. You can see everything easily snuck back in. It was rather quick. Uh, but again, wanted to point out the actual SD card, actually. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get this thing to go in. There you go, goes out and it goes in now. So you can see this one actually locks in place. Unlike the other one over there, that's not so good. Hopefully that fixes the entire machine, but uh, I believe there were some overheating issues because it would shut down once it got to a certain temperature, but we'll find out. 
we'll play with it and see what we can get. Maybe it is a bad controller board. Maybe that's why I was losing connection to my entire LAN and then it was unreachable. So hopefully this fixes it and then we can have ourselves a functional miner. All right, so I got everything all set up, ready to power uh, this bad boy up. Got everything plugged in, ready to go. Got the connector right here, ready to go. So uh, yeah, there's my other one working perfectly fine. Hopefully this one does the same. All right, um, looks like it's powered on now. Missed the winding up like a jet sound, uh, but there is the interface. We got that going, we're good to go there. So we're gonna go ahead and configure this bad boy now and see how long it'll mine for. All right, so here it is and uh, looks like it's good to go. It's mining, it's showing up on my, uh, as my second one. So we're good to go there. So we'll give it a, give it some time and see what happens. Hopefully it was just a controller was that, that that was the issue.